good morning and welcome back. Well, whether it's a chronic problem or just an annoyance, no one wants to deal with dandruff. And joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System is dermatologist Dr. Kurt Miller. Dr. Miller, thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. My pleasure. Now we're talking about dandruff and it's just, you know, it's one of those things that can be an annoyance, but it can also be a, a bigger problem. Uh, what exactly is it, first of all? Uh, well, at the mild end, it's just kind of a dry, flaky scalp. Uh, really, we refer to it as seborrheic dermatitis, and it can actually involve an inflammatory disorder bordering on psoriasis. Mm -hmm. So in the worst case scenario, there can even be a little inflammation, itching, and even a little bit of hair loss, but luckily that's a minority of patients. And for, uh, for the majority of people who have just that minor annoyance with it, what are some of the best ways to address it and treat it? Um, simple over-the-counter things you could buy, uh, zinc pyrithione shampoo, like uh, Head and Shoulders is one everybody's familiar with. Uh, there's a selenium sulfide version they also make. Um, or another thing m maybe not quite as many people are familiar with is a ketoconazole shampoo, which is actually an antifungal shampoo. Uh, at least in some patients, this seems to be a, a, a reaction to kind of a, a minor uh, yeast that tends to exist on a lot of our skin. Uh, can be helpful. And is that something you could pick up over the counter as well? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Grocery stores, ph any pharmacy would have most of those things. Uh, when and of course in oh, go ahead. In in, uh, in more uh, serious cases, uh, like I said, with uh, itching, a little bit of hair loss, sometimes prescription things are indicated. Yeah, I was just going to ask you that. Uh, when does it become time to maybe see a dermatologist about this issue? Uh, like I said, itching, hair loss, um, if it just doesn't seem to respond to any of the typical things you're trying over the counter, uh, or, you know, uh, last thing I want to do is scare our audience this morning, mm -hmm. but very rarely there are some serious disorders that can look like seborrhea or, or dandruff, as we say. Uh, so if a patient's dandruff seems to be just at a whole different level than everybody else's around them, uh, that might be worth a visit to the physician. Do you think uh, more people tend to see, is, is drier time of uh, the year with the winter coming on, is, does that have any indication as to uh, more people might be seeing uh, some of these uh, less severe conditions, so to speak? Uh, well, dandruff, seborrhea tends to be more problematic in the, in the winter. Uh, I think just a bigger nuisance, though. It, it, mm -hmm. if, uh, if a person has minor dandruff, it's not going to evolve into something dramatic just because it's winter time. It's just going to be a little bit bigger nuisance than usual. Again, it's just uh, like you said, I think, I think you put it best when you said, let's not scare anybody this morning. Uh, just uh, something to keep an eye on. And if it becomes a problem, talk to your doctor. That's, that's what I would suggest, yes. All right, Dr. Mueller, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And we'll head to break with a look at what's coming up on Good Morning America.